Is it time to buy or sell Palantir stock? In this video, we will explore Palantir in depth. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, the 1st of August, 2024, and now we are here to provide you with an even more comprehensive analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest insights. You don't want to miss any vital updates that could influence your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Leverage the power of AI to receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any one among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is intended for informational purposes only and should not be interpreted as financial advice. Since the 1st of August, 2024, our system has ranked Palantir as a sell candidate, assigning it a score of negative 4.5. Now, let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. We will keep monitoring this evaluation to observe how it develops in the coming days. The current three-month trend indicates a potential change of 36.25% over the upcoming three months, with possible returns ranging between 36.25% and 55.17%. Regarding the 12-month trend, it suggests a change of 69.61% over the next 12 months, with potential returns between 43.68% and 89.53%. This translates to a price range of $37.47 to $49.43 after one year. Our latest daily update for Palantir includes the headline, Palantir stock has been downgraded from buy candidate to sell candidate following Thursday's trading session. The price of Palantir stock decreased by 3.01% on the last trading day, which was Thursday, the 1st of August, 2024. The stock moved from $26.89 to $26.08. During the trading day, the stock experienced fluctuations of 6.6%, reaching a low of $25.83 and a high of $27.54. Notably, the price has declined in six of the last 10 days, resulting in an overall drop of 8.94% during this period. Furthermore, Trading volume increased by 2 million shares on the last day, despite the falling prices. This trend may serve as an early warning, indicating a slight increase in risk over the next few days. In total, 31 million shares were traded, amounting to approximately $798,240,000. Examining the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $29.83 while the lowest price reached $13.68. Currently, the price stands 12.57%, or $3.75, below the 52-week high and 42.04%, or $18.92, below the all-time high recorded on January 27, 2021, when the price peaked at $45. Palantir Technologies, trading under the symbol PLTR, is preparing for its second quarter earnings release on the 5th of August, 2024. Analysts are expressing optimism, projecting year-over-year -year increases in both earnings and revenue. This anticipation has led to a reassessment of price targets for the stock, reflecting a blend of cautious optimism about its ongoing performance within the evolving tech landscape. In 2024, Palantir's shares surged 65%, significantly supported by its new artificial intelligence platform, making it highly favored among investors and analysts. The company's strategy of diversifying its portfolio beyond government contracts aims to capture growth in additional sectors, enhancing its revenue potential and broadening its investor appeal. Citi recently raised its price target for Palantir, despite a generally cautious outlook on the software industry. This underscores a belief that Palantir can surpass expectations when it announces its upcoming earnings. These developments could positively influence PLTR stock price in the short term, 
especially if the earnings report meets or exceeds expectations. In the long term, consistent revenue growth, successful diversification, and ongoing innovation in artificial intelligence could position Palantir as a strong contender in the tech sector, further boosting its stock valuation as market conditions evolve. Analyst ratings. On Tuesday, the 30th of July, 2024, it was reported that Citigroup assigned PLTR a neutral grade with a hold action. On Sunday, the 28th of July, 2024, Jefferies reported giving PLT a hold grade along with a hold action. On Thursday, the 18th of July, 2024, Wedbush assigned PLTR an outperform grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, the 16th of July, 2024, RBC Capital reported a underperform grade for PLTR with a hold action. On the same day, Tuesday, the 16th of July, 2024, Wedbush also gave PL buy grade with a hold action. Analysts have assigned a general neutral rating to Palantir stock. They categorize the price to earnings ratio as a strong sell and the price to book ratio as strong sell. However, for return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a buy rating. The following signals have been identified for Palantir. Currently, there are few to no positive technical signals. The Palantir stock is showing sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a more negative outlook for the stock. During upward corrections, there will be some resistance at levels of $26.69 and $26.43. A breakout above either of these levels would generate buy signals. A sell signal was triggered from a pivot top point on Tuesday, the 23rd of July, 2024, and the stock has since declined by 9.48%. Further declines are anticipated until a new bottom pivot is established. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MACD. Yesterday, volume increased alongside falling prices, which may serve as an early warning. Therefore, closer monitoring of the stock is advised. Here are some additional signals you might find intriguing. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots show a sell signal from eight days ago. Bollinger suggests a buy signal from 19 days ago. The short-term moving average indicates a sell signal from 10 days ago. The long-term moving average also indicates a sell signal from two days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal from 40 days ago. Observing the 12-month chart reveals, the short moving average shows a sell signal from eight days ago. The long-term moving average indicates a buy signal from 42 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal from 30 days ago. To discover more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support, risk, and stop loss for Palantir. Palantir finds support from accumulated volume at $25.21. This level may present a buying opportunity, as an upward reaction can be anticipated when the support is tested. The stock exhibits average daily movements, and with a healthy trading volume, the associated risk is considered medium. Over the last day, the stock fluctuated $1.71 between its high and low, which is a change of 6.6%. For the past week, the daily average volatility of the stock has been 4.12%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for Palantir, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, let's discuss the price to earnings ratio, commonly known as the PE ratio. This important metric measures a company's current share price in relation to its earnings per share. An exceptionally high P.E. ratio indicates that the stock may be overvalued. However, it is not unusual for technology companies or those with significant market potential to exhibit such high ratios. In other news, the upcoming earnings report for the second quarter of 2024 is anticipated on the 5th of August, 2024. Analysts have a consensus estimate of $0.08. Cents. It is important to keep an eye on these figures as they can substantially influence stock prices.
Now, let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Palantir. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Palantir is at $27.64. If you do not own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be an opportune moment for swing trading. On the downside, Palantir encounters its first support level at $25.21. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Palantir from multiple analyst sources is neutral. Now let's examine some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were conducted by Glazer David A., who bought and sold 270,000 shares or options in the company. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we've determined that the insider power is negative with a ratio of negative 67.689. In total, insiders have purchased 4,579,790 shares and sold 25,804,633 shares during the last 100 trades. We currently hold a negative evaluation for this stock, and there is no stop loss in place. Is Palantir stock a good buy? The Palantir stock presents several negative signals. Despite a positive trend, we anticipate that Palantir will perform weekly in the upcoming days or weeks. Therefore, we maintain a negative evaluation of this stock. Due to some minor weaknesses in the technical picture, we have revised our analysis from a buy to a sell recommendation since the last evaluation. After examining the volatility and movements from the most recent trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Friday, the 2nd of August, we expect Palantir to open at 402 ten thousandths of a dollar and begin trading at $26.48. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money. It is essential to consult with a financial advisor before making any decisions regarding the purchase or sale of securities. You should not base your investment choices solely on the information provided by StockInvest.us. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge that you are responsible for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? We invite you to comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a beautiful day with warm regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.